really, really excited for my for my team. Uh, I think they've kind of found a groove, you know, in a way, and just a rhythm and. Uh, learning that if we can kind of uh, execute consistently and be solid in our schemes, good things will happen. It's something that we've been talking about all year. It's kind of starting to come into fruition. I mean, this game tonight, it was a tough one. It was one of those games that you had to grind out. Like both teams were making runs, but we stayed solid when it counted. And we didn't panic. We didn't come, become frustrated when things weren't going our way. We just continued to, you know, execute in a way to allow good things to happen for us, which led to a win. So really happy about that. But you guys hear the term, like, playing with joy all the time and just leading into this game after the win earlier this week. What was just kind of the energy around this team coming into it? And did you feel, like, the, that joy of the winning um, coming into today as well? Well, I mean, one thing we said from the very beginning is that we want to enjoy the hard work. It's sometimes really hard to enjoy the hard work when you're not, uh, when it's not leading to W's, but um, just kind of staying solid and, and true to who we are and who we've been built, built, what we've been building. We knew that it would, it would come, you know, eventually. So once it did happen, there was extreme joy and we used that energy to kind of carry over into uh, practice, into shoot around, and also in the game today. It's just a different feeling when, you know, all your hard work leads to wins. Taylor, you joined this team this year. Things are kind of clicking right now for you as well. So just what are your feelings getting a career high 30 today um, and just helping this team to, to the second win? Can you hear me now? <laughs> I said it feels good, um, and I think it will feel good to anybody um, uh, scoring a career high. But I think one of the biggest things that um, I just keep telling myself is just be there for my teammates. And if I'm giving, if I feel like I'm giving enough, I just tell myself to give more. Um, and because I, I know my teammates look to me for a lot of the answers, for a lot of encouragement, um, leadership. So really just being that um, high leader that I could be, really. Did you have a feeling, Taylor, coming in the game that, that this would be a game that uh, you'd be able to perform well? Yes, I did. Um, just with the how they played um, on ball screens, I was just with, within my game, I knew I was capable of getting to the basket and um, my game working with what we did um, with our scouts. So, yeah, I did think that it was going to be a good night for me and all of my teammates um, coming off of a good win. Um, you know, I kept reiterating to my teammates that, you know, let's just build off of the win that we just had. Um, so I think that also kind of gave them some fire um, coming into this game as well. And, uh, Coach, uh, what were your thoughts on uh, Taylor's performance tonight? Um, well, uh, my thoughts have changed now that I know that she had 30 points. I know that um, she, she had a solid game, and she's correct in that um, we knew certain things were going to uh, be available based on you know our style of play, but also how they defended. So. Um, it was an emphasis in our scout to get to the basket, especially when there was an opportunity to do so either in transition or the half court. We had to tweak at times like how we were getting into that, but our team executed that well. And because you know, uh, a big part of Taylor's game is her physicality with her size and being able to get to the basket and finish, I definitely thought that she would have some opportunities, but it looks like she had a whole lot of them. Um, and it impacted our team, you know, in a big way and allowed us for sure to score points in some moments where we needed a basket. Uh, and this could be for any of you, but uh, what it mean for you at the end of the game, the, you know, the fans cheering you, and I saw London over uh, giving out autographs and hugs and posing for pictures. What did that mean for you to kind of have that moment as well? Uh, uh, awesome, you know, and I noticed that, that there were a few more people in the stands today, and that's what winning brings, but we have an awesome fan base. Um, I don't know everybody by name, but I know faces. And whether we were winning games or losing games, they continue to show up. And we absolutely appreciate that, you know, about uh, those that support our program. You know, they're here, you know, day in and day out, uh, no matter the weather, you know, snowy, shiny or not, um, they show up for us. So we really, really appreciate that. And it's great to give them something to celebrate. McKenna, you've been making a lot of um, 
improvement and impact on the defensive side of the ball as well. You had a couple of steals. Um, how has that been an area that you've been working on and focusing on? Um, yeah, I think I've known since I got here that defense is one area that I've really tried to improve on. Um, but, you know, my coaches and my teammates kind of push me every day to step outside my comfort zone and really work on that. So I think we've really seen my improvement over the season just so that I can get confident playing at this level and improve that aspect of my game. Taylor, working with Amir, what has that been like? The two of you guys in tandem seem to, just like the guard play, has seemed to have been an improvement since she has gotten here as well. Um, <clears throat> I think it's been wonderful. I think um, she's a huge add to our team um, and the way she plays kind of mingles in with the rest of the team. So I think myself and the rest of my teammates think that um, she's a huge part um, and a huge add to our team. So I think we all are kind of loving and, you know, loving her energy and her um, uh, um, appearance and stuff. I, I want to add about uh, McKenna. Like, she's right. The defense has been um, an area of an improvement for her. What she won't say, but I absolutely know, is that a lot of her improvement has come when nobody's watching. Uh, I've been in the office, and I've come out, and I've seen her uh, working one-on-one -on -one against one of our quickest um, our, our managers or our scout guys where she's just kind of, you know, guarding them one on one where they're trying to take her off the dribble. And uh, at times, especially early on, a lot of frustration, but she stayed at it. And uh, that, that's when you get better. Of course, we practice. That's more of kind of a team setting. But if you want to be a better player, it's the stuff that you do when nobody's watching. And she's committed to do that on both sides of the basketball and has improved in a great way. And it's helped our team especially down the stretch, to have her on the floor because of the threat that she is offensively. But now being able to defend, it's easy to leave her out there. So it's been a great improvement, not just for her, but also for our team.